Right, meeting up with a few West Ham fans. We're in a secret location, let's say, in Hornchurch somewhere. Um, it's been a while, isn't it, fellas, really? So we're, uh, yeah. we're, we're sitting down. We thought we'd do a little video for you, and the boys don't know what I want to talk about. Um, but what I thought we'd do as a little sort of fun game is you're allowed one signing, and but you haven't even got to name it. It's just a position. So if your sign is a left back, if it's a centre back, just say centre back. And then what I want is your team for next season, the basically the composition of the West Ham squad as it is, yep. plus your one signing. So if your signing was a left back, you do your better than say left back, and then all the rest. I want to know who's playing up front. I want to know your system and all the rest of it. Right? Who is who has already sort of got something in their mind? And I'll go to you first. Oh, fucking Scooby. They don't know. <laughs> No, I think Danny can go first. That's all right. We, we, we can talk. I'm going to put this over there. So we can I'm talk through. We, we can talk. You've got the that's, short note, yeah, isn't it? That's the bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'll tell you what, Danny. Let me, pressure, up, Dan. let, me, yeah. let me up you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with, um, let's start with who's, what system? Think of a system. You playing well, two up front? What were you playing? You playing a four, three, three? I can't three, see three? it being a two up front. I mean, it worked a bit with Hallo and uh, Mikey, didn't it? Up here, but... He don't seem to want to play two up front. I think he's more happy to play with that one man in the middle there. And uh, two on either side of him, really. More wingers. All right, well, let's do the, easy. Let's do the easy one. Who's playing on the right? Um, well, it's going to be Bowen, I suppose, isn't it? It's going to be Bowen. Mm -hmm. You haven't really got that many options there, have you? I mean, Bowen's coming and done really well. He sort of uh, fits in well and you can't really knock what he's done since he's come in. I thought he hasn't been as intimidating since the lockdown. In that game against Southampton, we won 3-1. I thought he was superb. You don't think since lockdown he was that great? I think he's been more, rather than attacking, I think he's been more... Uh, He's played well defensively, but he's got the crosses in. He's putting some great crosses and he's set up two or three goals from crosses. I wouldn't say he's been in a lot of attacking situations to score, if that makes sense. No, you know, you know? you're right. He's, he's not yeah. been in a striker's But he's been position. more of a setting up crosses and putting in good good balls. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't think I'm knocking him. I'm not. No, no, I'm no. Just, I just don't think he's been in the positions to score. Well, how he was always seemed to be the man. Oh, put... Tony's very pleased with what you oh, say. Yeah, he's excellent. Excellent. Who are you playing up front then, on his own? You... Well, basically, are you playing Antonio or Halle? From, from what I've seen, it's Antonio all day long. But it's something with Halle because I think Halle obviously ain't turning a bad player overnight. Whether or not he can't play as a one. Now that's a good point when you say should we play a two. If you play a two, I don't think that's the system that will suit David Moyes' thinking and the way he sets up as a, a team, you know? Yeah, but is the question more about what you'd prefer or what, or, yeah, or, you... or, or, or based in the context of what David Moyes would do? No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, no, if, I, I want to know, if... know Danny's team with one sign-in. I want to know your team with one sign-in. I don't sure. care what the sign-in is. But is it based on you what, what David Moyes you might do? Yeah, it's got to be based like. on what you've got. You're going to get a bit really, of both. You're going to get a bit of both. But, oh, well, clearly, Dan thinks Antonio up, up front. What, OK, what about... Thank you. Thank what you, about cheers, the left? Sir. Oh, thanks, Dan. Thank, thank you very much. Cheers. There you go. Thank you. What about the left? Right. Now, on the left. Let's talk about the left. Hey. <laughs> Don't start. You've <laughs> 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 got some viewers that might not enjoy no, that. No, no. Yeah, the, le the left wing of West Ham's uh, football team. <laughs> uh, are you well, personally with mean... Fornals? Lanzini? Oh, are you going to no, play Dean Garner or are you sticking with Philippe Anderson? You've now, got many choices. This is where it gets hard, really, I think. Because I. Personally, feel like Anderson probably has bottled it and don't really want to play with us no more. Purely the fact he weren't getting it all his own way, and instead of fighting and trying to show us what he's got, he's sort of down tools and he's probably looking for a move somewhere else because he probably thinks he's better than he is. Um, I'd love to see Diagana prove himself to be good enough, being the player's come to the youth system. You know, I can't keep saying it, I say it every video. You know, my thoughts on players that come through our system. Love it. Um, who's the other one? 
well, I think you could play, An well, you've got Anderson, Lanzini, Fornals has been playing. Lanzini, unfortunately, has never, ever been my favourite player. I know a lot of people get excited <laughs> over him. This is true. This is true. He I've, I've said it from day one. Sung one sung and when he was doing well. Even when he was doing well, I've never, ever, yeah. I've never ever thought he is uh, as good as people thought he was. And I thought, I think now people are starting to not think he's as good as they thought he was either. But well, it's not personal, because I do think Lanzini is not a bad person or a bad player. I think he tries to do it. I just don't know if he's a man himself. I think Dia Garner. So you're playing Dia Garner? To start, to right. start. Okay. Against Newcastle. What about the attacking role, the number 10? Yeah. Uh, uh, we saw for the final few games a position Mark Noble was taking up. Um, well, it's either Noble or Suchek you put in there, or, isn't or it? Or Fornals. Because you've just dropped Fornals from left Oh, wing. sorry, yeah, Fornals. Well, again, this is, I think I'm a bit harsh. I don't know what Fornells brings, but when we when he's played recently, we've been better. But I don't actually know what he does. Is that so? You see, what it might be me. He might be doing something because obviously Moyes see something, and the teammates see happy choice? with him as he's well. Effort. You know what I mean? I I I I'd, I'd like Fornells in. in I, personally, I, I'd like Fornells in a number ten role yeah. behind Haller, and I'd like to have um, Antonio back on the wing, just 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 running at people bringing the ball in and providing the ammo for Haller. But someone needs to be closer to Haller. He's, he, he can't be isolated, that's All a right. thing. Well, let's, let's so, mix it, let's, let's let's, we'll come back to Danny second. Uh, you're playing Bowen, right? Yes. So you're not, oh, you're, you're, blah, 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 you're, not playing, you're not playing, well, you, you got involved. <laughs> you interrupted, <laughs> he, he interrupted. He did. Right. Yeah, but he kept, that's why I kept Stum. Yeah, no, 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 you're right, you're right. No, 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 it's a bit too regimented if we just do no, one. We're so blessed with so many world-class players. Well, we are, we are, we are. So you're playing Bowen on the right. So you've just said, basically, you're not playing Antonio on the wing. So you're playing Haller up top. I would like Haller up top yeah. if we've got someone close enough to him to allow him to actually to, 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 to do what he does best. Uh, but I'd like, to, I'd like him to play with a good number 10 behind him, but close enough behind him okay. to actually allow him to, to operate. But no, that's a good point, actually. That creates a massive dilemma with Bowen and Antonio. Oh, so I'll leave, I'll leave I love both that. of them in that same position. So, oh. but, but, but let's remember, it's a whole season, you know, a bit of rotation, you know. I mean, Bit of, uh, bit of swapping. Yeah, bit of swapping. Bit yeah, of swapping. Yeah, but, yeah, but OK. All no. right, well, you ever think about you want um, to play yeah, at number 10? Yeah, Dave, point, your yeah. thoughts on that front? Um, I was going to say quartet, not really, is it? But you know no, what I mean? No. Um, Triplets. Yeah. It's a it's a difficult one because it, depending on uh, who Moyes gets in, um, who would I like to say is the question, isn't it? Well, who's like, so Bowen on the right. Everyone yeah, Bowen on the right. Yeah, okay, yeah. what about so the striker? I, I think Halea needs to give we have the chance to prove he's good enough mm -hmm. not good enough he's good enough he's proven he's good enough but we have to, to try and play to his strength we have to adapt to him don't we we can't just go and throw away money we've spent on him or right, maybe part paid for um, and uh, just think well you know um, let, let him let him <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's, 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 he's trying to be quiet it's not it can't be substituted can it where are you <laughs> we can't just have someone like Halea on the bench yeah, 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 yeah. we can't no, we no, have to okay. try and fit him in so what yeah. about the left so well, I think we should play I think we should give uh, Dion Garner a chance as well on the left okay I no, think we and, have, and the number 10 behind I would actually play Antonio there oh. you play really yes oh there you go that's good that's yeah. Going, that's going so to be good. Play that, 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 Antonio behind. He's yeah. playing, I would play Antonio's number ten. That's the title of the video. He's just handed it. He's and if you put hell I would. I would. I know. Look, at the end of the day, he's, he's technical. The one thing that Antonio does is he works. Right. He might not have the vision of a Lanzini in his prime. He might not have the technical ability of four nails. But what he has got when you haven't got the ball is he will drop back in as another midfielder. You know, yeah. he will give you work rate. He will work hard, yeah. and he, I think, he has actually improved in his. In the, he, he's he's literally a utility player, playing at right back, playing at right wing. You ask him to play a position, he'll play. Yeah. Yeah. Unless Moyes goes out and identifies someone to say, "I want you to play there," mm. where are you going to play him? You either play Antonio up front, or you play Alea up front. Alea can't play up top on his own. You play Antonio on the right wing. We're gonna do with Bowen. You can't. Yeah, but okay. But yeah, yeah. That, 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 that is that is based on the. It's, it's that, is, that, that, hang on, that, that is thought. based on the assumption, though, that that, 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 that everyone's fit the entire season. Now, now we're West Ham. Well, we, we have to that. we have to assume that for the for the, for the video, because otherwise yeah. it all breaks down. Otherwise we start trying to work out who's injured at what time. What you got to we think is, so, yeah, yeah. do you think Heller is the man? 
because he, what he's saying I, is I, he, he thinks think, Salah can do the job I up think, there. I with think with someone close it. enough to him, yeah. yes. Which is the whole yeah. idea, which is the whole point of saying Antonio isn't a, isn't a typical number 10. He's not a typical yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. is he? No, really? No. He's not been coached or, or been disciplined in any particular position you play. Mm. Any position you ask him to play, yeah. he, will, he will give you 100% whenever okay, so he's playing. Here, yeah. Here's a question. Did, has Bowen played... On both sides, is it is it is it is it, is it double? Is well, he, Bowen, Bowen is left footed, but he also, if you look at a couple of his assists, they've okay. come from his right. Okay, so in that case, yeah. then how about then Antonio on the right, Bowen on the left. I don't. Four, four and hours is number ten yeah. for me, and and Haller up front. Well, well, that, now you're making a team by committee. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be no, my no, choice. I told you where, what my forward line would be. Um, I think, to be honest with you, we've got to definitely look at. Some of defence, to be honest with you, we have got so many things now. Where does Suchek fit in? Because yeah. I think Suchek's an attacking player. I think his height and his heading ability is a massive plus yeah, since he's come to the club. Oh, absolutely, mate. I yeah, think he's yeah, he's yeah. changed our, our attacking in, from midfield to a better level to what we had before because mm. he he looks like scoring goals and he looks like he's that sort of player. Um, so. He, <laughs> so you got to, uh, so you got to think about this now, haven't you? I mean, you you got Rice. Obviously, I'm hoping Rice is still going to be, and I believe he will personally. Yeah, yeah. So you, I'm not going to look at the downside. Rice and Suchek, central. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Central, but do you have yeah. Rice and Noble and Suchek in front? But in Suchek, will be playing more of the role you're talking about, Antonio. I still think Antonio's happy playing up front. He looks like. Right. The happiest I've seen him since the that's first a, season. Myself. That's a fair, that's a fair so. point. It's not like a miserable right back, Antonio, no, is it? Yeah. A four-four-one-one is sort of really getting Antonio playing that. What you said, Tony, about getting close. them close together. Close. Yeah. So by doing that, you, you're getting, you're, you're trying to accommodate someone that we clearly have know, to try and know, get. Okay, we're all agreed that Antonio is probably <laughs> the most informed. Of the moment, he's attacking been the man, player yeah. since lockdown. Mm. But, I, I, but my, 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 my question is though: Is can he maintain that over a whole season, or not get injured, or and or and or? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I will say. Um, I think if he doesn't get injured, I know it's a big if, and he's likely to get injured. I don't see any reason why Antonio, playing as a striker, couldn't score 15, 20 goals oh, next great. season. If he right. carries on that form from the end of the season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've got, to, you've got to give him a lot of credit for the goals he scored has probably kept us in the league this year. Yeah, now the irony, um, now obviously he's not done that, but I am, I'm suggesting that he might be able to. The irony of us signing players like Chicharito, signing players like Sebastian Heller yeah. in the hope that we can find a 20-goal-a-season striker when all along one of them might have been sat. I feel sorry yeah, for Heller. Yeah, in the nose, yeah. yeah. I feel sorry for yeah. Heller. I guess it comes up to it, oh, it comes down to a question of no, but it comes, right. comes down to a go. question so of uh, a can, do yeah. you believe <laughs> that it's about? Do you remember like when, when when we used to argue about who's being picked for World Cup squads and it used to be based on form versus um, reputation? Yeah, who who was right? at the big clubs? Yeah, yeah. United so, so, so do, do you remember, remember that year when Darren Bent didn't get picked? Yeah, and 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 what's his name? Uh, Emil Heskey did. And uh, but Darren Bent scored like 25 goals or something. I was thinking like, you know, so I'm, I'm going to contradict myself. I'd like Haller to be there, but I don't want him there just on reputation and just on the assumption that, oh, someone's close. You know, so, so, we, we, so close. Antonio is on form. He, he's, his confidence is sky high. So, you know, maybe, yeah, put him in there because he's on form. And it's, you know, so it's... I, I but, personally but, don't think I don't know, but Haller will be put in to a, a Moyes team on form. I don't think Moyes cares what people think. I think Moyes he cares less pick. about reputation exactly. than most people. Which, yeah, which yeah, I, I, right. I actually like. I think yeah. Moyes will pick you because you're doing the business or you're showing it rather than putting you in the team just to keep certain people happy up in the top who spent 40 million yeah. on it. You know what I mean? Now, I think it'd be interesting to have a chat about Ella because my opinion on Ella, I feel like he's coming to our side and we've We've not really played to what he's used to playing. Rebic when he, Joe, Rebic, all, when no. Look, I'll tell you what. Let, let, now, let's, let, let's, let's deal with that. But yeah. let, we'll deal with that. Let's deal with that in a separate thing, okay. all right? Because yeah. for, for obvious, for, for yeah. obvious reasons. Yeah. Let's just wrap up this team, and then we'll make that a, a, almost a separate video if we yeah. if we're well oiled That's enough fine. and we're not too yeah. drunk later. Um, let's just deal with it. Okay, so I think we've the composition. Let's just deal with the defence, all right? Yeah. So it, what it appears to me is that everyone 
almost subconsciously has suggested that this new signing must be a defender, be it a right back, a left back, or a well, centre defender. We have to have a new left back or okay. right back. Okay. 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 I'm gutted because I love Creswell. Okay, do we like do we like Ben Johnson? Yes. I, I do, do, but I, do. I think it's early days. You've got to take a motion out of it, mate. It's early days. Well, You've got to take a motion out well, of it. Well, compared yeah. to what we've, well, in regards to what we've currently got, <laughs> we have to like him because yeah. we haven't got anyone else. Oh, no, exactly. We've got He's no had letters from now. He's had letters. Exactly. He's tired. Yeah. So, it's, so it's full back. So, 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 got so got the, the question would be, are we signing a left back or a right back? Before we go there, let's talk about the right back situation. No, well, I said we got Johnson. That's, that's no, the we need both. Though, we got Johnson. Though, we? we got Fredericks. We need both. Yeah, that's Johnson can play both sides, and yes. this this gives us a little bit of flexibility. Okay. Yeah. But we got Fredericks as the other option at right back now. With Zabaleta gone, do you like him? Do you like Fredericks? <laughs> Hot and cold. They, a lot of people don't like him at all. I I personally feel I don't know if I was expecting more or not. It was a free transfer from Fulham. He ripped up the championship, but you see, that's a lot easier league. He has played some bad games. I mean, you think of Tot Tottenham at home, here's an example. Son and Kane down that side yeah. just ripped him a new one, didn't they? And that was the first time I thought... Sorry, ripped him a new what, uh, Danny? A new bottom. OK. Um, <laughs> new pair of pants. And, yeah. and then I thought, oh dear. But we was in the worst form of our lives at that point, weren't we? If you think about it, Mourinho just coming at Tottenham, it gave him a bit of a fill. It always does new manager first game. We beat Bolton 4-0 first yeah. game, remember? Um, so you can't really judge it on that, but I, I think Fredericks has shown a few worrying signs, but I do think... I, I do think as a player there, it's whether he can step up and get good enough to play Premier League football. Mm. Definitely. Oh, well, you obviously disagree, just, For me, it's all about... For me, it's all about a left back. I mean, well, it, no, it is about it's about both. But well, it is. Yeah, one, 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 in the context of it, left backs more urgent than right backs. I think we are even weaker at left back than we are at white right back. So maybe I can stick Stuart Pearce in. So do, do we think Creswell's <laughs> just lost his legs now, then? Because over the years, Creswell has been a good player there, but this season. If people got pace against him, they look like they're going to yeah. rip him to shreds, which is yeah. unfortunate. And I'm really gutted because I actually like him. That's, He's a West Ham man. You, you weren't seen it because I, I published you a video know? today. We weren't seen it because we were here. But uh, Mike was speaking on it. I was speaking on it. I, yeah. I think Chris has been a really good signing for West Ham. He's done a great oh, job. But, 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 yeah. but I, I think he's, he's, he's now being targeted yeah. for, obvious, yeah. for obvious reasons. So yeah. you're, I was just saying about uh, what you are saying about Fredericks. Fredericks' ability in terms of his pace He's obvious. That's yeah. what gets him out of trouble. What do you think as a footballer, you? I don't. Uh, as a footballer, I don't think he's actually as a defensive. Mm. Well, mainly, yeah, I want my defenders to defend first and foremost. I want yeah. my defenders which I think defend. Johnson which does. Which we need. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So okay. I just think Fredericks, his his pace gets him out of trouble a lot of times. What's and he, he with um, Masuaka yeah. at the moment because he's, he's got like a he's got a contract until forever oh, until like yeah, yeah, 2050 with you. Or something. Yeah. ask me about Masaraku hold on hold on hold on let, 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 hey, let, hey, let, hey, let, if, if Anderson is sold and it, and whether we use the if he goes back to Lazio and we say well, okay let's call it quits let's have a spit and shake on it we've, we've, we've had him we've paid you X amount we owe you X amount let's have a bit of a deal which to me seems the most logical course of action yeah. if I'm being suspicious um uh, I, I would say that would be uh, a probably a good deal for the club if that's the pleading poverty role they're going down down that line. Yeah. Um, and you play Mazuaku as an as a as a left winger. Yeah. Because the one thing that Mazuaku has, he has got a little bit of a trick. He, he can be quite strong and aggressive and uh, um, quite attack minded. And defensively, we all know he's not that much good. <laughs> My opinion on Mazuaku is basically he's an incredible sulk. Yeah. Um, he only plays when he wants to play. If things ain't going his way, he's next to useless. He can't defend to save his life. He's proved that on too many occasions. We'll agree on that. And he's quite happy spitting at people, which uh, isn't, really isn't the best. It, uh, uh, he ain't my favourite player. No. <laughs> I think, um, Did you know that? But he's on the way. To... I think, I think, I think, I think you said one day during one of your vlogs. We put him on a five-year contract. During one of your vlogs. You know what I mean? Uh, right, the space in which uh, Masawaka defends, you could land a fucking jumbo right, jet. You all right? In, in that space, you know. So yeah, I, I agree. I, I can't stand Max. I agree. So, so, uh, so do we all agree as a left back? Uh, for me, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah left I left think back, a left yeah. back would help. Hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Yeah. There we, we go. Have to. Well, yeah. right. Okay. Look, we're going to finish up next. We've got other people coming and join our little, um, our little soiree. Yeah, absolutely. We've got Avit behind the camera there. 
Well, we do it. Well, you we do it in all church. It's not. We're in a, it's a secret location. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up now. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back with some other things, Sebastian Allaire, and yep. possibly, depending on how, how well oiled we get, yep. three players you would all like to ditch from West Ham United. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got three of them, haven't we? Adios. Just three. <laughs>